At Light of Life, we've been impacted by the opioid epidemic. So we have people who are coming to use our services because they're homeless because of their addiction, as well as people who support the mission that love someone who has an addiction to opioid addiction and they don't know what else to do. And so we thought um, putting together this documentary and um, it's comprehensive and showing a lot of different angles of addiction from people who are actively using, people in recovery, and the people who have lost someone to an addiction. So in the spring of 2017, I was walking through Market Square and I saw somebody pass out right in front of me. and. I knew that it was drug-induced based on the crew that this person was with and living downtown and seeing homeless and uh, addicts all of the time, it was, I don't, my reaction was shock. Um, I would talk to the team here, but we were talking about what they were doing for outreach and they had just started their outreach team at Light of Life and we were given permission to follow them through the encampments all through downtown. So that's how I of the Needle started. As we were filming last fall, we were actually going out into homeless camps. You know, walking into a homeless camp, there's a lot of sensory things going on, you know, and you're seeing um, tents where people are living and you're smelling the smells that go with people who have lived outside for a long period of time. And it was really powerful and they were really kind and welcoming to us. And we wanted to be able to give people who don't have that chance to go out the same experience to say like, wow, this is where someone lives. This is what it could be like for somebody who's living under a bridge or you know out in the woods. And so um, the art installation gives that opportunity. Uh, there are tents that are recreated to be just like some of the homeless camps that we went in. I think it's really hard for people to understand what homelessness is like and what addiction is like. You can show them something on a video, but if you're able to give them something that they can interact with and engage with, and we wanted to make sure that people understood that this is what life is like. One misstep can lead you into this, and, and with addiction, especially opioid addiction, it can be anybody. There, it knows no race, it knows no gender, and it knows no age. It doesn't care where you come from, it will get you. Everyone is a person and a human being. Um, sometimes it can be easy to um, talk about them, you know, those people that are using, um, but they're people too, and they have people that love them very much. I think it's so important to remember the dignity of the person and that that when you see somebody struggling like that, um, that there's a story and there's a family and there's a history behind them. I think so quickly we come up with preconceived ideas of why that person is there and why somebody is living that life and you couldn't be any further from the truth.